Please welcome a truly fearless young man, Kelby Johnson, and an equally inspiring parent who is on my top of the list for Dad of the Year, Bob Johnson. When I was in eighth grade, um, I came out as lesbian. In our little town of Tuttle, Oklahoma, that was a dangerous thing to do. My parents' friends stopped talking to them. Our house was egged multiple times, and one day at school, I found a note on my locker that said, faggots aren't welcomed here. The bully changed my life. I got my GED, and I left Tuttle. Now I'm an advocate for change, and thanks to GLSEN, I've met with members of Congress, Secretary of Education, and carried the message right to the White House. I want to do everything I can to help other students like me. We can be the generation that puts stop to homophobia and transphobia. No student should have to live through what I went through. No matter what school you go to, no matter what kind of parents you have, you're worthy of the love and respect that everyone deserves. I am so lucky, and most of all, I have to thank my parents. I don't know where I'd be without their support. How about my dad? Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, very quickly, um, I couldn't have done it without my wife, Londa, who is also here this evening. Londa, thank you. And I, and I hope everyone can appreciate as much as, as uh, Kelby and I love each other, how hard it was as a teenager. Think back to being a teenager for just a second to get up on stage and say, how about my dad? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I will never understand how any parent could abandon their own child. I love you, Kelby. You're amazing. Our family hopes to do. Thank you. Our family hopes to do whatever we can to create a lasting legacy of change for Kelby and every student in America. Being in the film has changed our lives. Among other things, it introduced us to GLSEN. And I believe that it's my calling to work with GLSEN. We saw the amazing work this organization does when we all went to DC, working with legislators and educators to keep our children safe. We saw how hard GLSEN staff works to make a change every day. And we'll be a part of that from now on. Standing here tonight, Kelby and I are pledging our support to GLSEN, and we are asking you to do the same. At your table, you'll find pledge cards to join GLSEN's Honor Society. This is GLSEN's major donor program. It starts with a contribution of just $1,200. That's just a little bit more than $3.25 per day. Something tells me there are folks here who could do that and more. And I hope you've gotten a sense already of what an important investment that would be. Please take a moment right now to fill out a pledge card. As an added incentive to give as much as you can, I'd like to introduce you to a very special guest. 
Here is Jennifer Lee, Regional Managing Director for the Wells Fargo Private Bank in New York. Good evening. Good evening. So I've got a couple of props here, but first and foremost, thank you, Bob, and thank you, Kelby. What an amazing story. I uh, probably shouldn't have to be up here right now because I was looking for tissues back there welling up a little bit. I am here not only as an admirer of all that Glisten does, but I'm also here as a parent who, like Bob, could never understand how anyone abandons a child. But most importantly, tonight I'm here as an employee of Wells Fargo. And at Wells Fargo, we believe that respect and inclusion are critical, and not just to how we do business. We know that when students learn about inclusiveness at school, they carry those lessons forward into their lives, into their leadership, into their friendships, and importantly, into their workplaces. So supporting education and making schools safe is something that is deeply embedded in the values of Wells Fargo. This year, we're celebrating 25 years of commitment to the LGBT community. In honor of that, we've donated already $325,000 to Glisten's <laughs> $325,000. I just get to give away the money, right? Um, so $325,000 to the Safe Space Kits. I had to say that a few times, the Safe Space Kits. Uh, to schools across the country that are supporting research with new resources that will hopefully make all of our schools safer and more respectful. But I have a special job tonight and one that I'm pretty excited about. So I came with my props. A Wells Fargo pen is on everyone's table. A pledge card is at every single place in this room. And we're pledging tonight an additional $25,000 as matching gifts for every new member of the Honor Society. So take a minute, grab your card, take your pen. And like Bob, I am sure there are people that can give more than $1,200 here tonight. So fill it out and let our gift make a real impact tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer and Wells Fargo. That was quite the announcement. So please, everyone, don't let Glisten miss this opportunity to accept this amazing $25,000 matching grant from Wells Fargo. So students and volunteers, where are you out there? I know you're out there. You are with the lights. So you see the people in the room wearing the KPMG hats. They are out there to collect your pledges. On behalf of my parents, my mom, Londa, and my girlfriend, Tyler, are here tonight, too, and my little brother, who is back in Tuttle, and all the students out there who deserve to go to school where their lives are valued. Thank you so much for your generous contributions tonight. <laughs> 